Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is multiplying decimals. We're relating them to fractions still. We're not going to be using models, uh, but we are going to be decomposing things a little bit and thinking of uh, decimals in terms of fractions as far as one unit is concerned. What I mean by that is this guy right here, we have 3.3 .3, or 3 ones and 3 tenths, which gives me a total of 33 tenths, 3 tenths here and 3 whole, which is really 30 tenths. Put those together, you get 33 tenths. Same thing here with the 1.6. We have 6 tenths. So there it is. And we have one whole, which is another 10 tenths, which gives me 16 tenths. I multiply my third, 33 and my 16, I get 528. And I multiply my 10 by my 10, and I get 100. And now it all comes back around 5 and 28 hundredths. Okay, so 528 hundredths gives me 5 and 28 hundredths. Over here, uh, let's break things down for B. I have 33 tenths times 8 tenths. And that gives me a total of 100. Goes my 10 times 10. Now my 33 times 3. Here's my 24. 24 again plus 2 gives me 26. That's 264 one hundredths, or 2 and 64 hundredths. Okay? Cruising down a little bit. We're going to get into the thousandths as well. Uh, so let's take this choice here. Here I have some hundredths here. 3 and 35 hundredths gives me 335 hundredths uh, times 7 tenths. And I'm going to get 1,000 down here because my 100 times 10 gives me 1,000. Now I just have to multiply here. My 7 times 5 gives me 35. 7 times 3 gives me 21. 22, 23, 24. And once again, I have my 7 times 3 gives me 21, 22, and 23. So my 2,345 thousandths, don't forget the thousandths, which gives me 2 and 345 thousandths. Notice it ends in the thousandths place. Okay? Cruising down a little bit, taking a look at what we just did, noticing in here for choice uh, for problem A, that since we have tenths here, we're going to remove that decimal, just slide it on out of there, and just look at 32 so things look less complicated. But we're not going to forget to account for the tenths. Here's a 6 in the tenths place. So we're just going to make it a 6 in the tenths place. And when we multiply, our 32 times 6 gives me my 192. And my tenths times my tenths is going to give me hundredths, because 10 times 10 gives me 100. So there's my hundredths place. And then all I have to do is account for the hundredths place with my decimal. And I'm looking pretty good. OK? Uh, let's take a look at this problem here. Notice they have uh, 3.2 or 32 tenths. So I'm going to write tenths in here. I tend to put this in a parenthesis here. Um, then we have 1.2, which is 12 tenths. Once again, here are my tenths. My tenths times tenths gives me hundredths. There they are. Now my 12 times 32, and my 32 times 12, I need to work that out. 2 times 2 gives me 4. 2 times 3 gives me 6. Flex those off. 1 times 2 gives me 2. 1 times 3 gives me 3. So I have a 4, I have an 8, I have a 3, but all this is in hundredths. So I wind up with 3.84, because this is in the hundredths. Okay, so 3.84, and it kind of makes sense, too, where that decimal is going to be. If I was to estimate a little bit, my 3.2 is about 3, and my 1.2 is about 1. So my answer is about 3, if I was to put my little estimate symbol in there, my about symbol. And so in my actual answer, my, de my decimal definitely should be right there. Uh, so that I have a 3.84, so my value is about 3. If that decimal was somewhere else, let's say that decimal was over here, uh, now I have an estimate, uh, excuse me, an exact answer of about 38. It's way off the mark. Okay? And that's how that, that, how that works. So my tenths times my tenths will give me my hundredths over here for this one. I'm going to have hundredths times a tenths which is going to give me something in the thousands. Okay? That's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.
Bye.